Hello. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a metal fabrication business. My name is James and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start a metal fabrication business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. The idea of starting a fabrication shop is becoming increasingly appealing to many professional welders and fabricators. Self-employment allows for more flexibility in terms of work hours, project types, and proper work distribution over a time period to meet deadlines. However, while most fabricators have technical expertise, many still lack business knowledge. Starting a fabrication shop, like any other business, takes time, research, resources, and a good location. The initial steps in starting a metal fabrication business are similar to those in starting any other type of business. You can proceed by following the steps here. 1. Create a business plan. Without a business plan, your metal fabrication unit will fail. The two most important requirements for a successful business plan are accuracy and attention to detail. 2. Evaluate the competition. Before starting a sheet fabrication business, you should assess the competition in your area. You can find information about metal fabricators in your area by searching online directories. This will help you understand the competition, your competitors' strengths and weaknesses, and how you can position the new business against established firms. 3. Learn from others in the business. It is advantageous to learn the trade from others in the business. You can speak with some fabricators who serve areas other than your own. You can approach them as a customer to learn about their approach to your needs. 4. Choose your customers, as you are aware. Metal fabrication is a large industry in and of itself. The scope of your setup is determined by the size of your space and the capacity of your equipment. Many large and well-established metal fabricators can handle more than 120,000 steel sheets in a month or so. However, this may be difficult for you in the early years. As a result, you must decide whether you want to cater to commercial or domestic clients, or if you want to serve both. Here are the steps to setting up a fabrication shop to ensure that fabricators have the knowledge to start out on their own. 1. Select your fabrication services. Fabrication encompasses a wide range of services. Welding, cutting, grinding, shaping, repair, and renovation are examples of these. The tools you'll need will be determined by the type of work you'll be doing. So consider your strengths and invest in the necessary equipment for fabrication services. 2. Locate an appropriate location. It goes without saying that you will need a place to work. After evaluating your services, look for a location that is large enough to accommodate your tools while also allowing you to move around. Make certain that there is adequate ventilation. If you do a lot of welding and grinding, you'll need to make sure that the fumes are expelled from the shop. 3. Obtain the tools. Depending on the services you will offer, you can purchase various types of equipment. Given that we're talking about fabrication shop startups, here's a basic list of tools and equipment you'll need. Anvil. Clamps. Welding machine. Measuring device. Heavy welding gloves. Light working gloves. Table with a metal surface. Soapstone for marking metal. Welding helmet with dark shade. Grinder for cleaning up the metal. Ball peen hammer, or any metal working hammer. A level to ensure that your metal is straight and flat. Soft sandpaper pads, and cutoff wheels for the grinder. 4. Obtain appropriate insurance. If you are starting your own metal fabrication business, this is one of the most important requirements. Because you or your employees will be dealing with dangerous equipment, tools, and materials on a regular basis, there is a risk of injuries and accidents occurring at work. In such cases, medical expenses can be prohibitively expensive. Getting the right insurance can help you avoid large medical bills. You can check with all of the major insurance providers in your area or get quotes online. 5. Obtain the accreditations. Certain legal documents must be obtained before you begin taking on projects. A business license an employer identification number, and a unified business identifier number are examples of these. Depending on where you live, you may also need special permits to do your job. Visit your local government offices to learn more about the documents required to open your shop. 6. Determine the number of employees. No one can be a jack of all trades. You'll need to bring in experts who know how to do specific jobs well. Welders are one of the most important people to bring in. They must hold specialized certifications in order to perform their duties. People with smithing experience are also ideal for fabrication projects. If you decide to bring a laser cutting machine, you will need someone to operate it. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, 
comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a metal fabrication business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.